Some North Texas residents are fighting a proposal by Encore they say would dramatically disrupt their properties. Good evening, I'm Clarice Tinsley. First at 530, the mayor of Argyle says Encore's proposed 20-mile transmission line would have a devastating impact on the town and homeowners. He's urging the electric company to consider another option. Fox Wars' Lori Brown live in Argyle. Lori. Clarice, the mayor says that the transmission line would force a dozen people out of their homes, hurt the town's tree canopy, and impact commercial development. And the deadline for people to submit comments about the proposal is Friday. This tree blooms in the spring, which is absolutely gorgeous. Dr. Carmelita Teeter Leckowitz showed us around her Argyle home. I should have brought treats. It's a home she says she's always dreamed of. I have, since I was a little girl, wanted to live on a property where you pull up and there's pastures on both sides and you can see your horses as soon as you come home. But she says her property is right in the path of Encore's proposed 20 mile long, 130 foot high single pole transmission line. And she almost missed the notification. We got a one page mailer that came over Thanksgiving. So it just got in the pile. There's nothing about it that says you might lose your home. Dr. Teeter Lekowitz says her husband did some research. This tree we've kind of used as basically our demonstration of the power lines would go there and the easement actually ends right inside that little nook, which is the front of the house. So in that bedroom. Encore told us in a statement, we will submit several route options to the Public Utility Commission of Texas. The PUCT will decide the final route. While Encore has the right of eminent domain as a public utility for the selected route, we'll actively work with the directly affected landowners to negotiate the easements required for the transmission line. Brian Livingston, the mayor of Argyle, showed us the proposed route to get energy from West Texas to North Texas. He says he and residents understand the Texas grid needs to be improved. But we think that the process of putting transmission lines through North Texas community has to be well thought out, and we think that all stakeholders need to be at the table. Mayor Livingston says the proposed route unnecessarily goes north simply to go south again. These homes actually would be within the easement, and uh, people would have to give up their homes. He says it would also cut through a commercial development important to the town, all without appropriate notification. We were not formally notified at all. Mayor Livingston believes there is a better, more direct route that would cut through a small part of land where no one lives, overseen by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, land that already has power lines now. But Encore's response to the proposal. They've told us that it would be too costly and it would take too much time. Mayor Livingston says cutting through Argyle's neighborhoods and losing hundreds of old growth cross timbers is what should be seen as the more costly route. They're an irreplaceable natural asset. ERCOT has instructed Encore to designate this project as one critical to reliability that allows the typically year-long process to be shortened to six months. The mayor has organized a meeting between Encore, the Corps of Engineers, and Congressman Michael Burgess for Thursday. The deadline for people to submit comments is Friday. We've put links with more information on our website, fox4news.com.